your right hand out. Now give that person beside you a big pat on the back and say, bad luck, buddy. Oh. You're right. Yeah. Because if there is one, if there's one recurrent thing that I've observed in the last 25 years in this business is that most of us honestly and truly believe that it could never ever happen to me. Hands up all the grape eaters, please. Put them up nice and high, yeah. Do it. Turn around and have a look at the person beside you. Have a look at them. And, uh, and ask this question, is that the fresh young look of a six-year-old? <laughs> okay. Once a month, yeah. hand in the pants. Only once a month. Yeah, only once a month. <laughs> Yeah, that first keynote really inspired the conference, took us forward. Um, you know, great, great work and very inspiring. I'm sure that there's a huge number of people who are going to walk away from that you know, conversation motivated to change something in their life. So if an organisation, if your organisation depends on people, then the well-being of those people is a fundamental consideration for that organisation to perform at its best. Because this session is all about the number one most important thing in your world and that is without doubt you. You've all heard what the flight attendant says, that when the oxygen falls from the ceiling, we need to put it on ourselves first before we can help others. That applies to us personally and professionally. And, properly. Um, and uh, well, Rob's session was fantastic. I love, I love the fact that we talk about something that's completely different to FM, um, and a great way to start talking about how... The examples that I'll use are to do with personal wellbeing. That's my expertise. But how we go about this equally applies to relationships, Parenting, absolutely what you do day to day as a manager. But without doubt, the number one learning from working with those people was that the really successful ones were not the ones who made grandiose change. The really successful ones were the ones who made small changes and they kept doing it. I've seen Rob speak a couple of times and what I love about him is his information and advice is really practical. You can put into action immediately. Lots of participation. He gets the audience involved from the start. They love him. Hiring. And my challenge to all of you people here today is when you walk out of those doors, you're thinking about what's the little stuff in my life? The easy things, the low hanging fruit if you like. That we already know that if we reach out and we get that stuff and we bring it into our lives, we know that that will improve the quality of our lives, help us live the life that we want to live. Rob, Fantastic. Very funny. I think got the point across really easily for us and yeah, it was really good. Very good way to start the day. Just it's because every single one of you 200 people here today, with the investment of a tiny amount of time, can achieve all of those goals within the next 48 hours, yet you just could save your life. Time and astute decision making, invest strongly and invest wisely because I'm absolutely certain the benefit return for you will be far greater than any superannuation policy that you get yourselves in. This time, think about what are the important things in your life that you've been putting off until tomorrow. How come? If you thought about it, it's probably reasonably important to you. And particularly if it's easy, why? What are the things that get in the road of us doing the easy stuff, particularly that's important to us? Now we're not. I don't normally walk away from these kind of things and make, want to make changes, but I do on own games. We all do. In the pressure cooker of life, when it comes to looking after this thing, your number one asset, the buck stops with us. It's him for him, it's you for you, and it's me for me. Now back. Yeah, Rob, what you're talking about makes sense. I'm going to do all of that when everything settles down. Have you ever woken up one morning and gone, shit, it's today? <laughs> Everything has settled down. Totally awesome. Do yourself a favour. Then he said that's not why he stood up. He turned around to him and he said, if you think this is difficult, this is all that you do. Turn your alarm five minutes earlier. That will not impact the quality of your sleep. For three months, just do it. He said, then you'll have a habit, you'll get into the afternoon, it'll be just like having a pee, having a piddle in the morning. You know, you must have done it, but you can't even remember it. Completely stole my thunder, which was absolutely fantastic. And all I've done today is come along and give you some of my examples. I'm saying this is not a health talk, but to get you to be thinking about what's the little stuff in your lives, personally and professionally, that you already know that you can do that will improve the quality 
of your life. What I'll do next week. So yeah, it was great. Recommend it to everybody.